to my channel. Thank you for joining me to read yet another book. Today we are going to read the book called In November by Cynthia Ryland. In November, the earth is growing quiet. It is making its bed, a winter bed for flowers and small creatures. The bed is white and silent and much life can hide beneath its blankets. In November, the trees are standing all sticks and bones. Without their leaves, how lovely they are, spreading their arms like dancers. They know it is time to be still. In November, some birds move away and some birds stay. The air is full of goodbyes and well wishes. The birds who are leaving look very serious. No silly spring chirping now. They have long journeys and must watch where they are going. The staying birds are serious too for cold times lie ahead. Hard times, all berries will be treasures. In November, animals sleep more. The air is chilly and they shiver. Cats pile up in the corners of the barn Mice pile up under logs. Bees pile up in deep, earthy holes. And dogs lie by the fire. In November, the smell of food is different. It is an orange smell, a squash and a pumpkin smell. It tastes like cinnamon and can fill up a house in the morning, can pull everyone from bed in a fog. Food is better in November than any other time of the year. In November, people are good to each other. They carry pies to each other's homes and talk by crackling wood stoves, sipping mellow cider. They travel very far on a special November day just to share a meal with one another and to give thanks for their many blessings, for the food on their tables and the babies in their arms. What holiday are they celebrating? And then they travel back home. In November, at Winter's Gate, the stars are brittle. The sun is a sometime friend, and the world has tucked her children in with a kiss on their heads till spring. The end. So readers, in this story, Cynthia Ryland used words in an unusual way to describe things that we see every day, specifically during November. So as poets, we look with our poet's eyes and write about things in an unusual or different way. Can you think and reflect on some ways that she described typical things in November, but described them in an unusual and different way? Turn and talk to your partner and share what you observed while I was reading this to you. Happy Thanksgiving!